On November 1st, 2014, the metal community tragically lost another legend. Singer and founder of Static X, Wayne Static, had tragically passed away. The cause of death has yet to be determined, but according to the coroner, no foul play has been found, so an overdose was not the cause. But regardless of whatever it was, he was one of the last remaining industrial metal artists of our time. And he is a talent that will be greatly missed. I was fortunate enough to see them live three times and lucky enough to meet them on the third. At OzFest 2007, the year was free. Bands including them only made money through sales and sponsorship deals. So Wayne had to play a guitar with a Monster Energy logo on it. And this made fans upset saying it looked horrible. But what did Wayne have to say about it? Quote, I don't care. I'll drink piss if there's money. Unquote. The most upsetting thing about Wayne's untimely death is that he and his former bandmates weren't on the best of terms. I won't get into why, but they all had hoped they could bury the hatchet someday and get back together. And it's tragic that it will never come to fruition. The only solace we can take from this event is right now, Wayne is playing with Ronnie James Dio, Paul Gray, Randy Rhodes, Dimebag Daryl, Roger Patterson, Dave Williams, James Sullivan, Dave Brocky, Corey Smoot, and all of our fallen brethren. And you know, it's going to be the hottest concert ever. And you can bet that when my time comes, I'm gonna be first in line for my ticket. Wayne's widow, Tara Ray, said she's going to do what she can to finish his remaining work. And I hope she brings in his former bandmates to help her finish it. Wayne, you truly were an innovator and someone with a clear vision. You brought joy to millions of fans all over the world with your unique blend of style and music. I just wish I got to experience it one more time. I'll see you on the other side, and until then, say hi to James Lynn straight for us. Goodbye.